financial market. We can start with the financial yeah. market for today. Okay. okay. So as, as we do the, um, the, the, the the lesson with the um, with the study guide or with the notes. And let's let, let's do with uh with the notes. Let's do with the notes. These the notes. they are yeah, they are they are good notes as well. They are perfect. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'm all here. Okay. Okay, it's fine. So uh on this topic, the learning outcomes on this topic, uh we are supposed to to complete how interest rates are determined in the financial market, right? How interest okay. rates are determined in the financial market. And after we mm -hmm. do so, we have to take a look on what causes changes in the interest rate. And then we go on to the impact of monetary policy on interest rate. And then afterwards, okay. we go on to the monetary policy in South Africa, right? Okay. Okay. So... Uh, on, on, on this on this topic we have to complete all of these right okay. so let's let's start now okay what we need to know the financial market what is the financial market we need also to take into account uh, what is demand for money what is demand for money the supply for money the interest rates, the monetary policy, and the liquidity trap. So this one is is one of the. This one is is is. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Yes, I'm with you. Okay. So this one is one of the the simplest topics of all this is one of the simplest topics of, of, of all right so let's start on with with money let's start off with with are you still here oh i'm with you i'm no. listening it's just that my network i'm i'm trying not to move so oh. that i can have it right Okay, I no longer see you on my account, but you are still in. Yes, I'm, I'm still in. Oh. I'm still in. Um, it's just that I was opening another screen. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. So let's. But you can still see me that I'm in. Yeah, yeah, I can see now. I can okay. see now. Okay. It's fine. So let's start off with with what is money, right? Let's start off with what is money. So generally, money is anything that is generally acceptable as a medium of exchange, right? Money is okay. anything that is generally acceptable as a means of exchange, right? So money okay. is anything that is widely accepted in exchange in exchange for goods and services, right? So anything that can be accepted okay. for exchange of goods and services is known as money, right? Okay. okay. That's what money is. So basically money it all it is also a medium of exchange that is the function of money money is also known as a medium of exchange right yes uh, that is amongst the function of money where money is is a medium of exchange is a store of value is a standard of deferred payments those are the other functions of money right So we we just want to to define the terms so that when we are now using the terms, uh, you won't get uh, confused, right? So now now let's look on what is income. So income is the total earned by an individual or household during a specific time period, right? 
that is income, the total amount which is earned by an individual or household during a specified period of time, right? And usually it is a flow variable. Remember from last time when we did a flow variables, right? And we say that income is one of a what? Of a flow variable, right? Yes. Okay. So because it is, measured, it is measured over a specific period of time. Over a specific period of time, exactly. 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 And we say that there are difference between flow variables. Hello? Hello? Okay. So let's move on to, to wealth. To wealth. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so let's take a look on what is wealth. Wealth is, uh, is the accumulation of past saving plus interest, dividends, capital gains. So we are taking into account uh, wealth at on a broader scale, right? Okay. Okay, we are taking into account wealth at a broader scale when we are saying that wealth includes the accumulation of past savings plus interest rate, right? Past savings plus interest rates, we are just saying that if you go to, to, to your savings account, if you save 10,000 rand, right? you earn interest after maybe per year or the like, right? And then if we add dividends, dividends is the reward to, 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 to shareholders, right? It is, it is the amount that the shareholders are given over a period of time. And capital gains, and that one is called, is known as wealth, right? Okay. Okay, that's fine. So let's move on, let's move on. Okay, so we now want to take a look, we now want to take a look on, on the functions of money. We now want to take a look on the functions okay. of money. We have three functions of money. We have three functions of money, which include medium of exchange, like I've said before, medium of exchange, money also acts as a store of value, it also okay. acts as a unit of account, right? Yes. Yeah. Also acts as a unit of account. Okay, now on a medium of exchange, we say that the function of medium of exchange, we are saying that money is anything that can be generally accepted as a means of payment, right? As a means okay. of payment. So literally we are saying that we have uh, different types of money. Like in the in jails, in jails they use uh, cigarettes as money, right? Hello. 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 Ruth? Ruth? Hello? Ruth? Okay, you can still hear me. Okay, it's, it's a bit breaking, breaking a lot. Um, I'm, I moved, I changed. Oh, you changed your, your position. Now. Yeah, I, yes. I, 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 I can. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so we are saying that uh, money, it acts as a medium of exchange, right? And we say okay. that the function of a medium of exchange, it is with regard to anything that can be accepted as a means of payment. 
for example, if you take for example in in those uh, in, in those jails, right? In those jails, they use yes. uh, cigarettes as a what? As man. The yeah. reason oh, is a... yes, cigarettes they are acting as a means of man. One can buy a plate of 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 supper with a cigarette. So it means that at the end of the day, you are using that cigarette as a means of payment to get another good, right? As long as it is anything that is used to exchange for another good. Yes, exactly. And anything okay. that can be accepted as a means of payment. If I accept, uh, if I accept you to give me a cow, and then I'll give you back. Uh, some some hens and the like that means that cow is also re, uh, regarded as man okay right so it is not only paper money that is regarded as money but anything that can be generally accepted as a means of payment okay okay so that's what money is right okay, okay. so we want to take a look on the store of value, the store of value. So the store of value is another, another function of money, right? Money is also used okay. as a store of value. So by the store of value, we are saying that money is used to transfer purchasing power through time. It is used to transfer purchasing power through time. What are we saying? Money can be saved, right? Money can be reliably saved. You can save your your, your money at FNB, you can save your money at, uh, at Capitec, right? In a savings okay. account. So literally what you are doing is you are transferring purchasing power from today up to the next uh, period of time where you are going to retrieve your money, right? Oh, yes, I get it. Yes. So that's, uh, that's the other function of what? Of store of value, okay. right? Yes. yes. Okay. The the other one is a unit of account. The other one is unit of account. So this one now, the unit of account, we are saying that everything, the value of every good, is its value is is measured in monetary terms, right? To say that this house is worth uh, 300,000 rand, that we are using money as a unit of account. We are using money as a measure, right? Okay. We are using money as a measure to, to measure the value of any asset. If we say that this car is worth 70,000, we are using money as a unit of account. So those are those are the functions of money. Okay. Do you have any question? No, I'm fine. I'm, you are fine. I'm clear. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so we can move on to to portfolio decisions. We can move on to portfolio decisions. Okay, so okay. we are now taking into account the financial market now. These are portfolios that exist in the financial market, right? These, uh, they, they, they exist in the financial market. So a portfolio, a portfolio refers to the choice by a financial market participant on how much of various assets to hold, right? Let's say you are holding a bond, you have a bond and, and money as well. That becomes okay. a portfolio. It means that you are holding more than one financial asset. When you hold more than one financial asset, it becomes a portfolio. Oh, okay. So this portfolio, it consists of money. A portfolio consists of money. It also consists shares. It also consists of bonds. It also consists of real assets and forex. Okay. 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 So when you are holding all these financial instruments, when you are holding all these financial assets, it becomes a portfolio on its own. 
Oh, okay. It becomes a portfolio on its own. Okay, is it making sense? Fine. So we can, so we can move on. Okay. So generally, in the in this topic, we are going to to to, to assume that we are only using two assets. We are going to assume that we are only using two assets, which is what money and bonds, right? We are going to assume that a, a portfolio only consists of money and bonds, right? This could be government bonds or this could be okay. bonds that are sold in the private sector, right? Okay. okay. And then financial asset on bond market is, is, is only the treasury bill. So here we are only taking into account also what? The treasury bills, right? Mm -hmm. And thus choice is either to keep money. So we are saying that either you keep your money as what? As, as money balances or you keep your money as treasury bills, right? Because we are saying that the portfolio, oh, okay. we are assuming that in, in a portfolio, it only consists of money and treasury bonds, right? Okay. Yes. So we are saying that either you keep money or you keep what? Keep treasury bonds, right? Yes. Hello? Mr. Nick, what is it? 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 What is Kona ilof nan? Anderson. Anderson. Ya yeah, Anderson na ilof. Alright, iri bond. Ok, fondra Alright, sure. Alright, sure. Oh, non pusho ili jam. Ruth, hi. How are you? Hello? You know, Fernanda said, Mom is here, Hello? Hi. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Oh, I called using WhatsApp. I thought I used. Uh, okay, can you can you just spare me about ten minutes? There is someone waiting down for me at at, at my flat, so I just need to attend to him. Hello. Okay, fine. I will wait for you. Okay, sharp. So I'll just I'll just I'll just end the meeting for now, and then when I come back, I restart it. Not a 